femur is the largest single bone that we have in the body. It's the bone of our thigh. We have the proximal end here. This is the end by our hips. We have the distal end here. This is down by our knee. So when we look at this as a whole, we have the head, the neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter. This, the shaft of the bone is what we call the diaphysis. And then we get down to these condylar structures here. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. At the proximal end of the femur, we have, again, the head. The head is what fits into the acetabulum of the hips. If you look very closely inside here, we have something called the fovea capitis. There's actually a little ligament that comes out of this and attaches to the inside of the acetabulum to sort of help ensure that that ball and socket joint works the way that it's supposed to. There are actually a lot of ligaments that run through this region. But this is the head, the neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter. This one's big, this one's small, easy to remember. Then again, we come down the diaphysis, or the shaft of the bone itself. And then as we get towards the distal end here, what we see are these smooth condyles. We have a medial condyle, we have a lateral condyle. Medial condyle, lateral condyle, and then of course we have a medial epicondyle and a lateral epicondyle. Again, epi means upon. This region right here is what we call the patellar surface. A cameo by the patella. It's gonna sit right here, that's our patellar surface. Your patella, of course, is your kneecap. This is an anterior view of the femur. When I turn this guy over here, now we're looking at the posterior side, a little bit of a closer view again. We have the head, we have the neck, greater trochanter is large, lesser trochanter is smaller, but this time, when we come down the diaphysis here, there's a roughened surface along the posterior side here. This roughened surface is what we call the linea aspera. We're smooth on the anterior side, but the posterior side, we have this linea aspera. From here, we come all the way down towards the bottom, and what we're looking at is the popliteal surface. And again, since this head is going to be facing medial, and we know we're looking at the posterior side because of the linea aspera, that makes this the medial condyle. That makes this the lateral condyle. This is what we call the intercondylar fossa. And again, we're going to have medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. This is the posterior side of the femur.